Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and I'm going to show you guys how to disable Cortana with the latest uh, version of Windows 10. Uh, Microsoft released version 1607, I believe. I'm going to right click on my start menu. I'm going to go to run, and we're going to do a WinVER version. And I do have the latest and greatest uh, version 1607. And apparently, as you know, Microsoft doesn't want you to disable Cortana. It's it's one of those things that they want you to have. It's it's like Apple pushing series to everyone. So uh, don't get me wrong. You can right click on the taskbar and go to Cortana, and you can hide it or show Cortana as an icon or you know show the search box, which is by default. This is how you see it. But let's say you we want to completely disable it. There's two ways to do it. One way is a group policy, which I'm going to show you guys. Another one is a registry hack. I'm going to show you guys how to do the group policy because it's a little easier. So what we need to do is right-click on your start menu, go to run, and I'm going to do GP edit MSC. Now the group policy is only going to work on specific versions of Windows. I believe it's only going to work on Windows Professional and Windows Enterprise. Uh, we are going to open this window up. We're going to expand the sidebar a little bit. So we need to get into the computer configuration, uh, administrator templates. So expand that, and we need to get into Windows components. And within Windows components, there's a folder or a node called Search. Within the Search folder, there's an option that says Allow Cortana. So let's double click on it. By default, it's not configured. So what we want to do is disable it, and apply it, and OK. And we're going to close the local group policy editor. And it's not going to automatically happen. So you need to either restart or log off your machine. So actually, let's do a send a control or delete to this machine because this is a virtual machine. Let's sign out and let's sign into the machine. And as you can see, Cortana is disappeared. Uh, you're going to get a search windows and it's basically like a search box. You're eliminated or disabled Cortana. So Cortana is not going to be searching online anymore when you're typing in stuff that you need to search. It's only going to be searching apps, files and settings within your computer. Okay, and the second way to do this is with a registry hack. If you guys are not able to do it a group policy way, most likely you have like the home edition. So the way to do that is just right click on your start, go to run, and you want to type in reg edit and hit enter. You want to click yes on the user account control. And once your registry editor is open, we need to get into the H key local machine. So let's expand that. And from there, we want to go to software. And we need to locate policies, so expand that. Expand Microsoft. And within Microsoft, let's expand Windows. And within Windows, uh, most likely you're not going to have a key called Windows Search. Now, if you don't have it, what we want to do is right click on Windows, go to New and Key. And we want to type in is Windows with a capital W and search with a capital S and hit enter. So once you create your Windows search node, we want to right click on it. We want to go to new and create a D word 32 bit value. So your D word 32 bit, we're going to call it allow Cortana. It's one word all together. Make sure the A and the C is capitalized. Double click on it and make sure it's set to zero. We're going to click OK and close our registry editor. And you got to restart your machine or sign out. So I'm going to send a control or delete command to my virtual machine. Sign out. And I'm going to log back in. Once you log in, you're going to see Cortana is completely disabled. And that's it, guys. That's how you disable Cortana with the latest Windows 10 version 16.07. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.